Um, I could protect that, you know, I'm not influenced by them in the slightest, but I am because if anything, it's kind of what makes me feel like I am a man or whatever. So, you know, I can get say that it has nothing to do with it, that, you know, um, my gender and the way I express it in society is different, but in my case, they go hand in hand. Um, yeah, so for example, if I want to be seen as masculine in like the activity I'm doing, um, or in the context, the social context that I'm in, then I will wear like what I'm going to do now, which is just cover some stuff up, make my face look a bit more, you know, facey, not so eggy, and do my eyebrows because if anything, yes, I can totally be a guy with bushy eyebrows, it's lovely. Um, but then, for example, like most people who wear makeup, I like doing their makeup as in not just this, like full face, everything makeup. If, for example, you're going out with your friends or it's like a social situation where like, I don't know, a party or something, for example, it's usually like the best time or the best excuse to do that full face out there glam makeup and for me it's kind of exactly the opposite because if I do that and usually in a social context I'm meeting new people or I'm like just hanging around with other people I want to be seen as a guy and it's clear to me that I can't do that although I think it's wrong without as in if I do my full makeup then you know who's gonna see me as that which again sad but true um if it's already people that know me, then chances are it's not really going to matter as in people that accept me, accept me for now. For example, if I'm going out with like school friends who, or like close friends who know how I feel about my gender, who, you know, and then we'll do our makeup, then fine, I'll totally do it. But for example, with like other groups of friends, like my new group of friends, I usually try to look as masculine as possible just because I like being seen as a guy, and these people will see me as a guy if I want to be presented as such. So, I don't know, it's interesting to me how it's not like two different personalities, but it's two different ways of seeing yourself. And it kind of worries me because now I hardly do full makeup unless I'm at home, like if nobody's going to see me because I walk. I mean, like most of my masculinity, as many men, is very fragile. I don't reject the feminine parts of me because, as you can tell, I do my makeup every day, even if that's not what is socially considered like super. It's not the most feminine makeup, you know? I wear makeup, which is considered feminine, like it's a feminine thing, although I really don't think it should, like it is where it should be. But even if it is, if it's a feminine thing, that's fine because I'm a very feminine trans guy in a lot of cases but I'm I don't know whether there's like this part of me that either I'm just moving on from like I'm not doing as much makeup as I used to out I mean at home yeah um if it's because I don't want to anymore either because my style is also becoming more masculine like the way I present myself or just because I don't know like I'm being influenced by other people and other things and how I should, how I feel I should be presented a lot.